Hello everybody, it's Bricky here, and I'm playing Ass Simulator 2016. No, not Frostblade Aurelia, but DJ Sona. So I've been hearing quite a few interesting things about Sona as of late. Since her massive overhaul in her ability, she's been getting a lot of attention down the support lane. Now knowing me and the excessive loose asshole that I am, I thought, wow, I wonder how good she would be in mid lane. I mean, she has some really good scalings, and definitely a great ultimate. Maybe it'll be a decent pick. And so I did. And guess what? This happened. In League of Legends, ass size and damage amount are equivalent. The larger the butt, the more damage you do. I mean, look at Aurelia right now. Sure, they nerfed her ultimate, but not like that matters a whole lot. She still shits on people. Nobody seems to play Vi much anymore, but not like that matters now, does it? Fat ass equals fat damage. That is a simple fact of League of Legends. Now there's been a major misconception in League and that is Frostblade Aurelia indeed has the best ass. I will now submit a laugh in a condescending way with a scholarly remark. Ha ha ha. Oh child, you are incorrect. The only reason people think that Frostblade Aurelia has the better ass is because of the obvious importance of it in the splash art, when in reality, when compared in game, DJ Sona by far has the fatter ass. I did a total of two minutes of scientific experimentation in ass size. I have a PhD in assology and I can 100% confirm that because of this booty size, DJ Sona is fucking busted. Seriously, Sona mid is absolutely disgusting. It is complete and utter bullshit. You do so much ridiculous and incredible bursts on an extremely low cooldown and you have so much team utility, it is fucking insane. Now I'm sure plenty of you already knew this. Hell, I'm sure some of you claim to be mid lane AP Sona mains and should have gone to the LCS but didn't because you're homeless from Hextech chests trying to get gemstones. Like, I cannot believe she is this strong and even after the hotfix, she is ridiculous. Look at this damage, okay, look at this montage of bullshit I'm about to present to you. Watch this shit. Oh look, I got an S and enough key fragments for a chest. Let's see what I got. <sighs> Swing and a miss. Listen to this rotation. Let's say you land your Q and power cord combo, right? You then smack your W to heal and shield, and then your E to gain movement speed, and then you already have a second or two before your Q is back up, and you've already readied yourself for another power cord combo. You go to lane, you rush a Sheen. You have one lane. You simply can't be outtraded. You do way too much damage. And let's just say they do more damage to you. Let's just say they can outburst you in the beginning. You have a heal to keep you constantly up and you can rotate your burst combo so much faster than they can. You simply cannot be fucked with unless you're CC'd to shit. 
You have the straight single target burst damage that most AP mages want, combined with the ability to rotate that within 5 or 6 seconds or something like that. With team AoE shields and single target heals with AoE speed buffs and AoE teamfight stuns. This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. This is an extremely evil, disgusting, horrifying thing to do to your fellow League players and oh my god, it is so much fun. I mean, normally I tend to tunnel when playing Sona because I'm always zoomed in checking for glitches to report for Riot, that's definitely the truth. But it's absolutely hilarious to see this Sona walk towards you and chunk you for pretty much all of your health, and you're sitting there like, where the fuck did that come from? Because that's the thing nobody knows, nobody understands this scaling, this burst power you bring to the table. They don't realize the massive movement speed bonus that you and your team can always have with a little bit of CDR. Nobody realizes or remembers the sheer team fight power that Sona has. And if you don't believe me, let me present to you some simple math. And by simple math, I mean extremely complicated math because this is League of Legends. Now my core build is Rod of Ages, Lich Bane, and Luden's Echo. I sometimes get tier, sometimes don't, because if I do, it lowers my damage early game, and that's the best time to get fed. Now let's say you haven't sold Doran's Ring yet, and you have about 10 AP via Runes and Masteries. So 15 AP from Doran's, 100 from a fully charged Rod of Ages, 80 from Lich, 100 from Luden's, and then 10 from the Runes and Masteries. That gives you a total of 305 AP. So your Q at max ranked is 160 plus 50% AP damage, meaning 313 total. Now take your empowered auto attack you get from the Q, which is 60 at max rank plus 20% AP, which is 121. Now take your normal auto attack AD, which at this point is roughly 83, say if you're level 13. Now take your power core damage, which is 145 at level 13, plus 20% being 206, plus 40% because you're using your Q power cord, making it 288. Now add the Lichbane proc, which is 214, and finally the Ludens Echo proc, which is 130. Add this all up and you get 1,149 damage for every single Q power cord combination. Okay, now here comes the real bullshit. Let's say you don't have CDR runes or mastery. So Lich Bane is the only thing you have, so you're at 10% CDR. Now your Q at max rank is 4.3 seconds with that 10%. If you hit the Q, then you hit your W, then your E immediately after your combo, you have another power cord combination already ready as soon as your Q comes back up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm saying at this point in the game, when you have those specific items, you will be doing 1,149 damage to a single target roughly every four and a half seconds. This is without Death Cap. This is without Archangel Staff if you choose to build it. This is without Void Staff. This is without Zonias. This is pure Sona bullshit. And if that isn't enough, your ultimate has a 50% AP ratio for team fights. Let's not forget your AoE shield, your heal, and your AoE speed boost that all scale up your AP. Oh, and let's not forget that bonus little auto attack damage you get from your Q that also affects your teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, Sona mid is absolutely, positively, completely busted and is 100% because of that fat ass. Thank you, Riot, for the glory that is the DJ Sona booty. Enjoy another montage of death. Now everybody, if I want you to take anything out of this, is that the ass is fat. But no, really, this is bullshit, okay? This is overpowered and ridiculous. Try it. Trust me. Try this out right now. Not in ranked. Don't do it in ranked. Do it in normals. And send me your match score on Twitter at BrickyOrchid8. I want to see the destruction I have wrought on this world. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is BrickyOrchid8 and booty over everything. Bye bye